All right, I'm here on the show floor with Christopher Huang, CEO of Brisket. You guys have a new product that you're showcasing on the show floor here at CS 2024. Tell us about it. Oh, definitely, definitely. So really, we're showcasing two things. So a little bit about Brisket. You know, we're a smart barbecue grill company, always about leveraging automation and uh, smart intelligence to uh, deliver the most automated streamlined experience as possible. So this, what we're showing CS, is really the second generation of that philosophy. So first, let's start our hardware side. Yep. So first, we're introducing our NeoSear hybrid concept. And what is NeoSear? So NeoSear is a true dual fuel hybrid grill. At its core, it's a wood pellet grill, still gets a great smoky flavor. But if you look inside, you'll see that it's supplemented with two high powered coils. Uh, one U-shaped one, like you see at the bottom, and then one that's kind of obscured by the sear plate, yep. but it snakes through this uh, sear plate. Why do we do that? Two reasons. First, we want to get that really hot, high heat searing, uh, 700 degrees plus for that reverse sear steak. And second is that with the uh, U-shaped coil, we can actually increase smoke flavor and smoke generation. Uh, how does that work? Because the one weakness of traditional wood pellet grills is that as you increase the temperature, the fire combusts more efficiently, which means then the smoke generation decreases. So with uh, the Neo sear, we can draw heat from the electric coals instead. So let's say if you're smoking a prime rib at 350 degrees, uh, you, you get the uh, smoke as if you were smoking at 180 degrees, but with a temperature of 350 degrees. Yeah. That's the idea behind Neo Sear. Yep. Uh, on the software side, we're debuting what we call Integral 2.0. So Integral 2.0 is a true generative cooking AI. Uh, the tagline for that is very apt. It's uh, ask anything, say anything, uh -huh. cook anything. And How, you, can you, you type in or you can actually verbally ask it? Does it have voice recognition? Yes, you can. Yeah, voice is probably the easiest. And I should clarify, this is, this is meant to emulate a mobile app. Unfortunately, voice does not work on this uh, tablet. Yeah, no. But the idea is that freeform input, anything you want to tell it, ask it, it will ingest that and then create a recipe on the fly. So this is what your app would look like if on my phone. And Correct. this is connected to this girl right here. Correct, okay. yes. So let's, uh, let's try something. So what is your favorite uh, protein, Michael? Um, I like a I like a good uh, steak. Brisket, okay. Whatever. A brisket. Okay. Let's cook. Let's cook a ribeye steak then. Ribeye sounds good. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's still a prototype because all the correct has yet to be implemented. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So in this Wi-Fi, probably 10 to 15 seconds it'll take to respond. But the whole idea, as I, as it, it's the generating, uh, just like, for example, ChatGPT, you can just like uh, you can create you can iterate on it with further course. Let's say when this ribeye steak comes back, uh, you don't really like the seasoning or it's recommended ingredient that you don't have. So, oh, it came back, okay. So looking back here, you can see that this recipe was generated just a few moments ago and it did not exist just uh, uh, Step prior. by steps, kind of so you follow the steps. Yep. And so what, are, how are you, what uh, are you tapping into an LLM, like open AI, open AI through an API or what do Correct. you Correct, we have our own lang uh, learning model, a language learning model, and then we also used uh, multiple data sets. So our primary data set will first always be our own recipes, which is you know not huge, but it's very tested. And if it needs something to enhance that, it'll then look in the World Wide Web. Okay, cool. So, okay, we can see here that, uh, you know, this is a, seems like a pretty good recipe. But uh, let's iterate. Let's see. I don't like. Uh, I want uh, some more uh, paprika. You know, I like more of that uh, Cajun kick. It's gonna kind of go. So like, you know, you visit, it, what do you it sent you? Add a little, spice it up a little bit, and then you can follow the steps with the kind of regenerated recipe. It's a little more, a little more heat to it. And when it says send to the grill, when you say send to the grill, what does it do? So that you know that is actually. That will then uh, implement our integral 1.0, which already exists on a grill, which is the idea that it's a, it'll just cook the thing automatically. Uh, pure, and we call it autopilot. The whole idea is that no matter what happens, let's say you forget to flip the steak or you forget to take the steak off when, uh, when you're supposed to, it'll detect all that and react to make sure that in the end, it doesn't come out uh, you know, poorly. So that's already exists, but that's what we call uh, you know, integral 1.0. Do you guys have temperature probes or yes, any temperature do. sensing? Okay, Correct, so yes. you will know the heat inside the steak? Correct. And it'll kind of say, hey, it's done. It'll, at that point, we'll kind of send a note. We'll shut it off. What happens at that point? So it will, it will first, it'll remind you. It'll remind you of the course of the recipe to make sure that you try and follow it. Yep. But, you know, a lot of people, they're lazy or inattentive or distracted or they're not even home when it's cooking. So in that case, when it, it, if it detects that something's been missed or there's a difference in skill level, it will react accordingly. Uh, just to give your example, like if, someone, if the food's finished cooking or reaches the right internal temperature, but no one shows up to uh, grab it, then it'll detect that and then 
reduce the grill temperature to try and prevent overcooking. And when can I pick one of these up? Is it something I could buy in the next couple months? Or So what I just described with Integral 1.0 does exist. Uh, that is available on the market with our Origin series, which you can see one of them there. Sure. And uh, although that, that, that one right there is there a standard across. model, yep, yep. Yep, it's available for $9.99. Uh, this hybrid model, uh, this is a prototype, so unfortunately no release date has been announced yet. Same with the Integral 2.0 generative AI, but this should be coming sooner rather than later.